And I was told I couldn't universally just change the way in which we did, dealt, dealt with student loans. I fixed two student loan programs that already existed to reduce the burden of student debt for nearly 4 million Americans, including nurses, firefighters, and others in public service. Last night, during his State of the Union, President Biden pointed to yet another campaign promise he's delivered on. His latest effort to re reduce student debt includes a $1.2 billion plan giving relief to 150,000 Americans. The plan will wipe out loans worth up to $12,000 for those who've been making payments for at least a decade. The president's been quietly working to provide rounds of debt relief after the Supreme Court's conservative majority struck down his original plan for giving $400 billion in student loan debt for more than 40 million Americans. Our next guest, Jessica St. Paul, a physician's assistant and community college educator, calls the loan forgiveness granted to her by President Biden, quote, life-changing. After taking out $95,000 in loans for college and then both a master's and, PH and a Ph.D., her balance ballooned to nearly $150,000. Now she owes nothing. Working for more than 25 years on a public servant's salary, Jessica says her loan payments reached $1,200 a month. She says that kept her from starting a family, buying a home, and saving for retirement. Her debt now forgiven, she's continuing her passion for public service and encouraging others to do the same in their schools and communities. Jessica St. Paul introduced President Biden at a recent event advocating for student loan forgiveness in Culver City, California. This freedom, this breathing room, is because of President Joe Biden. And just two weeks ago, I had my baby girl. Any moment for me to live my dream of being a mom because President Biden has the back of hardworking Americans, public servants just like me. I can invest in my retirement, secure a brighter future for my daughter. It is with great honor and gratitude to introduce to you our President Joe Biden. Yes. <laughs> And now it is my pleasure to introduce to you Jessica St. Paul, a physician's assistant and adjunct professor of public health at Los Angeles Southwest College. As we mentioned, she recently had nearly $150,000 of student loans forgiven. Jessica, welcome to the show. Congratulations on the, on the new baby. We don't have time for you to show me a little picture, because I usually make people show me pictures of, uh, of the kids. But let's listen to more of President Biden's State of the Union address. Such relief is good for the economy, because folks are now able to buy a home start a business, start a family. While we're at it, I want the public school teachers a raise. So, so Jessica, we, we have a chart here showing the breakdown of the president's student loan, student debt relief, and who's been helped. It's nearly $140 billion and nearly 4 million people. And that now includes, that now includes you. Tell us how you found out your loan was forgiven and how it's affected your day-to-day -day life. Well, actually, for me, because I've been working with the American Federation of Teachers since 2018, and just a year after when, the, um, when our union actually uh, sued then-Secretary DeVos, um, for the mismanagement of public service loan forgiveness. And I saw that there are different changes for public service loan forgiveness. I knew then at that time, because of the time that I've been in public service, that my loans would be forgiven. So when you were, when I received the letter, it was an email um, from at that time, the loan servicer Mohila um, got the email. I didn't believe it. I had to call, had her email it to <laughs> me. I then printed it out and framed it. And I knew at that moment that my loans were going to be forgiven. So all the work that we've done over the past years and having this administration um, uh, relieve the public service loan forgiveness program to relieve, relieve that debt for me was just amazing. It just changed my life forever. Yes. Jessica, what would you say to politicians who oppose this kind of debt relief? 
You know, I will always say that, remember, this is a bipartisan, especially for public service loan forgiveness. This was bipartisan. It was a bipartisan Congress, you know, with with George Bush. And so this is we're asking everyone that think about our public servants. These are our teachers, our nurses, our firefighters, you know, policemen. These are individuals who commit their life to public service. So when you're thinking about different policies and remember these individuals who saved our lives. I mean, we're thinking about with this long term economic impact of the pandemic and people are going out of public service. We're here. We're here to continue to serve. And we just need this opportunity for us to get the public service loan forgiveness promise that we had, Mm -hmm. um, which has happened under this administration, which is truly amazing and changed millions of lives of Americans. And after everything you've been through, what's your message to those who aspire to work in public service? You can do this. Um, The public service loan forgiveness program has been fixed. It's no longer broken. That's why elections matter. Take the opportunity. It doesn't matter what you do. It's who you work for and where where you're employed. Please continue to work in public service because we have community members who are ready for you. We know when this happened during the pandemic, this will never happen without first responders, our teachers, our educators, you know, our nurses, PAs, MDs, everyone within public service. So I say continue the service that you do and the public service loan forgiveness promise will happen under this administration. Jessica, since this has happened, how have you been able to treat yourself in some way, big or small, that you couldn't before your loans were forgiven? Well, for me, it's my family. Um, We've been able to have my baby girl. I've always wanted to be a mommy. Um, You know, I have amazing parents. And so for me, I've always wanted to have that legacy. And so having my daughter is the biggest thing in my life that has been able to happen. And I can still continue working in public service. So they're like, that's how you treated yourself with having a child? Yes. Having my family was a treat for me. um, And it's been amazing since this time. And so it's just really good that I can continue to work and continue to serve uh, my community. So I'm just extremely happy and forever grateful.